Hello everyone and welcome to a new Raviel Polyferidius cheated one shot. We are doing Dragon Quest Monsters Joker. So of course we gotta name ourselves real quick. Not what I wanted. There we go. This game is still very loud. All these years later, and it's still very loud. Okay, whatever you say. And... This is how you, uh, scout again. Oh yeah, I get my first monster now. So, I actually like a Draki. And we're gonna call him Drac. Now we have our first monster. We get to ride for Domus Island. Or Isle. I wasn't paying attention. shop down here.
Okay. So we get... This shows us the map of all the areas we're going to get to go to. Well, we don't get to go to all of them, but... First thing you always want to do, even if you're playing a cheated playthrough, you always come here. Save here. There's the bank. That's odd. And of course there's stuff down here. Monster storage. Monster synthesis. The item shop. Everything's always in large. Except when someone's talking, they decide to make everything large font. Or, well, caps locked, essentially. So, of course, basic enemies for the map. A basic slime. Let's go fight it. Show off the combat. Basic fight command. Now we can also give orders. playthrough, I wanted to make sure that my cheats were actually, you know, working. I think I downloaded the wrong set. I think I got the right set now. I do. Considering Drax, uh, wow. Well. Oh wow, I can allocate a lot into him. Of course, if you want to heal, you gotta go back into that building, but for now, we're not gonna heal. We're gonna just run as quick as we can. But of course, we now have more stuff that we can do in combat as well. So let's fight another one of these guys. do ZAM! MAGIC! I thought I turned on... Hmm. I thought I also turned on infinite exp... Uh, infinite magic. But I might not have. Hmm. But of course, 16 more skill points. We got Warcry. We'll go ahead and just 6 more here to get the next maximum HP buff. So I think we've done two here, two here, or all four on each. 
the four we can see at least. Now we could probably go back and... I'm not sure... how well one of the codes is working, because there's supposedly a scout function to be able to grab some of these guys. But I don't remember how well that works, or how I do it. Oh no, come here, you little slime. He's running. He's running from the man, the myth, the legend, Jurak. Alright, scout. Oh yeah, okay, so that's really working well. So we've now scouted the slime. So we now got a basic slime on our team. We gonna name him Slim. But basically this is the gist of the game. I'm only gonna be doing this as a one-shot unless more people want to see a playthrough of this, as this game does go on for quite a while, I remember. Especially considering this is a good bit of the game. Just walking. And I am sorry there are no borders. Uh, I didn't know what borders I would want to use. Sure, I could base it off the game, but then I would be making them for a one-shot. See, that slime attacked. It wanted- it wants the smoke. See? They want this! Now you can see also that my, um... That my second, uh... Monster doesn't have the HP buff. So I am going to have to probably go do that here in a second. Or just wait and watch that slime get murked. <laughs> Straight to level 19. Wow. And I only got two gold coins from that, but I think... Okay, so we want... Frizz... Heal... Zap... Body Slam... Attack buff, HP buff, and then we can go towards the next attack buff. Of course, there's more monsters on this island than just slimes. As noticed, there's the platypus monster, the thing that we could have grabbed. There's also these holes here, which I think indicate sneaky moles. And of course, later on, there are flying monsters. Gotcha! Sometimes you gotta just run up and get them. So this one... We were gonna try something, but scouting! The fun part is you can scout with more than one monster. But you don't really need to. Later in the game, you can get to where you can scout without needing multiple monsters. Early on, you can't. So we're going to name him Perry. And yes, if anyone gets the reference. I hope you do. <laughs> now we will go also fight a Platypunk. No, Platypunk. Come back here. I want to fight this time. Oh, and he's got a slime companion. All right, so we're gonna give orders. First, we're gonna zam wham the slime. We're gonna zap wap. We're gonna zap this guy, and then we're just also gonna attack. Fight! Zam! 
Zip Zop Zam. That slime is no more. Now we're gonna go with a zap. And that Platypunk is no more. Each team member receives 7,510. Drak got some skill points. Slim got some skill points. And Perry got a bunch of skill points. And we got three gold coins off of that. So, Drak now has six. We were... I don't know what we were running on. I think we were running on this because War, after Warcry, we want to see what's in that. And we were going for maxing his HP with two more. And we want to see what's after Body Slam. Body slam, defense plus 5, max HP plus 10, defense plus 5, now it's going to leave it to where there's 2 remaining in the defense boost, but that's fine. If you look, we've got a massive amount of stat gains here. And we're just still heading onwards, onwards and upwards. Of course there is this tent here where we can talk to some people. Now there is the Scoutmaster Shuffles. We can do this. I'm not sure what the reward is. I never actually did his stuff. But, yeah, if we were to sit around outside until night, we could, I think, potentially get all of the monsters that were starter monster picks, as well as a slime. We're just going to let them choose their attacks this time. And, of course, our parry, slim, don't have the full HP buff that Drac and that Drac has. We were still going for Dark Knight, I believe, right? Yeah, because we hadn't seen the next one after Warcry. And I believe his we were going through defense boost to get that last one and then we want to and then we need to see what's after but we can also see what each of their skills are so if we go to here we can see that he's done four at least in that in dark knight skill and four in his agility boost we can do the same with Slim, four and four, four and four. So we know which ones we've poured past the four where it shows exactly what we're getting. Ooh. Game. One moment. All right, it looks like Going into new areas and looking at walls sometimes has the game act up when it's working with cheat codes. But we're in here, we got... There's also a shadow! Alright, we want to scout the shadow. Because we got the Draki already. And 100% scout. So we should get the shadow. And the Draki flees, of course, because of this. It's kind of like, um... Technically what you should have to do with Pokemon raid battles. Or horde battles. So we're going to call him... Shad. Shaddy. We're going to send him to storage. You can set substitutes, which allows for you to have 
extra monsters. Kind of like in Digimon. Now you got the slug looking thing. This thing, this thing ugly. So we're going, it's called Lips. And if you understand why, or well, actually I have no reason why it's called Lips. I think it's because of its lips. But you're gonna understand what I call it here in a second. Anyone that knows Dragon Ball knows why I just said I just put that. <laughs> oh, another one. Well, let's boot it up. Oh, that one's full on stunned. Give the orders. Let's go with a Zam Wham. A Zap Blat. And we're going to go for the Dragon Slasher. Oh, wow. Zam completely decimated that thing. Never mind. Ooh, Dragon Slash. That lips didn't even see it coming. Slim boosted. Parry went up. 19 gold. That's not bad, actually. Okay. Dazzle Flash. Huh. That, that sounds neat. Attack power went up by five. Oh. Mercurial thrust. Ooh. Interesting. Of course, there's alternate paths you can go to get items, like down there. So, uh, oh, yeah, that would have been going down the other path. We could have went past the shadow and gotten a chest. But there's really no need. Because if we notice, I've kind of got a lot of gold. So up here is the spot where we go to take the scout's pledge and that'll probably be where we end the episode is where, with the scout's pledge cease this futility it a mangy poodle. Well, it's not my fault. Solitaire. So, of course, that is where we can call it. However, the only thing up available from that is a quick save. So, to show you guys the truth on it, in order to do a true save, you always...
Okay, got it. For a second, I thought we were going to be having another issue with the walls. Looks like if you look the other direction, it can kind of get you out of the sticky situation. But yeah, you head down here and you can only save in these buildings. You can quick save, but quick saves aren't truly a good idea. I always suggest going back down here and saving. I also suggest fusing monsters when you get extras of them. So you can go get an extra slime, an extra parry. An extra drac and an extra shadow and lips and just always try to do that but thank you everyone so much for watching next week will probably be another separate cheat video please go over to the community tab and place your vote on what i should do for mondays from now on right now we've got a tie if that tie is not broken by the time i finish take by the time the that ta that poll has run its course i will run it through again i will do a dice roll to see which one gets picked however that's until then so thank you everyone so much for watching like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye y'all